name's Jeff. This is my mate Rene, executive chef on Veal. And today we are in the middle of summer and just look at everything. It's within what, 75, 80 kilometers. Some of this came from your garden. Tell us what we got here, Rene. This is oh, so exciting. This is uh, wonderful. Very, very Do you exciting. You know what? We were going to have a glass of wine with cheese. Why don't we start with a glass you of wine? You start with that while I'm talking a little okay. bit about the wild blueberries. Absolutely perfectly in season. Red currants, raspberries, strawberries. That's sort of from the fruit family now. We also got peaches and nectarines from Niagara, of course. We got beautiful prune plums. I used to pick these across the street when I was a boy. And then we're going to the vegetables, of course. We got all the different beets that just started coming out now. We got potatoes, we got kale, superfood. We got uh, cauliflower, organic uh, radishes. The greens never look too good because they're organic, never sprayed. But the flavor is just absolutely nice powerful. Parsnips. Beautiful parsnips. We got uh, chili peppers here. We got all the Ontario mushrooms, some of the king oysters, regular oysters, shiitakes, cremini's, and the portobellos, of course. Then we got uh, fish from Ontario, beautiful rainbow trout fillets, and Lake Huron whitefish. That's a little bit more than 100 kilometers, but it's still Ontario. And we're so lucky here to have all of this. Tomatoes, there's the bounty of tomatoes in the summer. We uh, display one just today. And then of course the cheeses. Uh, Ontario has so many cheeses. Probably one different kind for every day of the year you could eat a different cheese, right? I thought you were going to say there's one different kind for every cow, but that'd be pushing it. Talk about cheese. Well, what do you got there in the glass? Ah! Henry Pelham, Cabernet Merlot, absolutely wonderful. It's full, it's rich, it's got a, a big cassis, black currant flavor. Oh. The Speck Brothers are really great custodians of our land here. It's, it's environmentally correct. I'll tell you something, they put some daikon in between the vines to reduce the salinity, to reduce the salt. A lot of people just put lime and chemicals in them. These guys do it properly. I love their wines. Henry Appellum, Cabernet, 1495. Cheers to what that. That's well, wonderful. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers to us. Do you know what? We're the only, you and me, we're the only things here that's not local. <laughs> I guess so. This would be good with our absolutely lovely uh, Lego lamb from Ontario. Ontario ribs and pork chops here. Look at that. Just pork gorgeous. Chop. Our Ontario pork is still one of the best in the world, I'm sure. Is this out your garden? The, all the herbs are out of my garden in the summer. You got a little box out on the balcony. I have a little backyard with just a, a big box. I got uh, rosemary, I got different sage, thyme, coriander. Oh, I got about six or se seven different kind of herbs that are growing back there. Isn't this exciting? Oh, you know, I tell you, it starts off in the spring with the asparagus. In my garden, I've got an asparagus bed. The asparagus pops up and I've got two or three spears. I put a pot of water on, opens a Henry Appellum Cabernet Sauvignon, <laughs> cut the spears, rush it into the pot, stick it in, pull it out. The flavor, it's so strong, so strong. You compare this, with our cousins south of here. Totally different flavor, doesn't have the intensity. Here, what's that? You were wondering about that, isn't, wondering isn't about that? that? Oh, look at that, that I is a, a bowl of local roasted crickets. Another powerful food, it's healthy, it's better than potato chips because it's just unbelievable. I don't Try. see many people going yum, give us Oh, I do, yeah. look at that. Give that one, oh, one. that one is really good. And nice and crunchy too. Goes well with the Henry Pelham wine and all the local Ontario ingredients. What do you think? I think it's, it's hazelnut. It's got a hazelnut flavor. These are really good. They say that this is gonna take over from cows and lamb and sheep, but I don't think so. Well, the sustainability of crickets that. is a lot better than beef, so to speak, because they grow faster, you need more le less electricity, it's just more sustainable to, we play that in England, to grow right? crickets. You do, it's we a play cricket, yeah. fancy game well, like baseball, but these. not quite. Do you know what? <laughs> I'm going to bring these out at, uh, before dinner. 
hors d'oeuvre for next time I have a dinner party. So let me cut some cheese What cheese here. you got here? Well, we got some, uh, this is a, a, a goat cheese, hard ripened goat cheese. And this is a hard ripened Swiss style kind of cheese. Oh, Swiss had to get in there, didn't look, it? Look at this different colors here of the goat's milk and the cow's milk cheese. But this, this is one of my favorite, it must come in. It's from up north, northern Ontario. Absolutely gorgeous. The different nose. Yeah. It's oh. crumbly, but not too hard. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, look. That's... What oh, we, the tomatoes. That's stuff. what we call in England the dog's bollocks. No, that's it's right. It's really good. That's Goes right. well with the cricket. Oh, yeah. OK. Well. Go out, buy local foods, eat it, enjoy it while you can, because we'll soon be back in the deep freeze and everything coming up from Colombia, Mexico and California. If you like our videos, subscribe and watch them again. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers.